You guessed it. The Flash is dead. Now, as you know, I do it with a three inch brush. Other people use all sorts of different size brushes, but whatever brush you use, it needs to be worn in and have a bit of shape to it for you to, for you to be allowed to, to cut in the seam lines. If you try doing it with a brand new brush, you've had it and you? you're gonna be there forever and a day. So, when it came to my attention that there was a certain guy, I think he's from America somewhere, um, that had um, devised a roller for cutting in ceiling lines, I thought, hey, I'll have some of that. If that works, I'm going to whiz round this plot, which is a two bed, uh, in no time I'll just have to do the corners and stuff like that, will not I? Um, so yeah, when I heard, heard about one of these rollers, uh, called Fast Trim, yeah, Fast Trim they're called, Fast Trim Cutting In Rollers, and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll have some of that, I'll, I'll, I'll order one of them. Cost me a fortune, about 35 quid with shipping, to get it from the States to, to England, because like, needless to say, they're doing sell them here. I wonder why. And here it is. Now actually, this is loaded up with paint, and um, it has got a multitude of um, settings, so you can use it off a pole, yeah? The idea is put on a pole and you do your, and you cut your ceiling lines in. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to me doing house painting, this roller has actually got to be able to cut in ceiling lines at, at a fairly decent uh, speed. Uh, whether it does that or not, you'll find out. Um, so yeah, it needs to be able, I need to be able to use this at a decent speed, cutting in, because but with all the years of experience, I can actually do it quite quickly uh, with a brush. This is a two bed property with shed loads of rooms, and uh, I've actually cut this in for things about just under an hour and a half. So as long as you've got your paint at the right consistency, you've got a decent brush for cutting in, um, you can trim them down, I've got a video on that somewhere. Uh, I can cut this plot in relatively quickly. It only took, it took me about an hour and 20 minutes, I could have done it a lot less, but I couldn't see what we're doing because there's no lights on. So yeah, when it comes to this fast trim um, roller, now, I probably advise you guys to go and have a look at the the, the, the other videos on YouTube uh, that deal with this. Um, the Idaho Painter, you've probably heard of him, he's done a review on it, uh, so you can see what he says, and then there is the, the product videos for this. Um, so you're better to see what's involved. Now, in the product videos, he's actually using one of them DIY roller trays to do it. And the idea is you've got to keep this end bit clean so you're not going on your ceiling with the paint. And uh, I'll get a close up in a minute. Um, that plastic piece there is followed by a bit of a sponge and then the roller. Uh, and then you roll it and you're supposed to get a straight line and um, supposed to do the job. Now on the product videos, it, it seems to work, doesn't it? As they would. Uh, might be alright for DIYers, I don't know, but I bought this for 
new work, house bashing, and it's got to be able to do the job and do the job right and to do it at a good pace. So, yeah, let me give you a bit of a close up of it. Yeah? Reach it, oh, it cost me about 35 quid, don't forget. Right then, here it is. There's the old brush there, right? There it is. Not a bad construction. You have got the um, thread there so you can put it on a roller. I've not actually tried that, see if it fits my pearly one. Uh, decent construction. That's a, that's so you can have it at a multitude of, of angles. That's your release thing there, which seems pretty decent plastic. Uh, and there's the roller, yeah, normal rad roller as such, there's a piece at the end, and that red piece, it, it goes up towards your ceiling line, a little bit of a sponge on there, as you can see, yeah, so yeah, that's basically it, I did get a, a few um, uh, extra sleeves with that, I think that's why it cost me about 35 quid all in, but yeah. So let's um, let's see it in action, shall we, guys? Let's see it in action. See what it's like. Right. One thing I am going to say, I have got to use my normal scuttle. Now, this is not what he uses on the video. Um, but for any of you house bashes out there, you obviously you're going to need a scuttle. You can't carry on them silly um, do it, do it you, yourself. Um, trays round because it just wouldn't be practical so i've come up with a solution that I, I have got a once that roller's loaded up right once that's the only way i could think of doing it is get it loaded all up try it out on the wall as it shows you in uh, the guy's videos and then what i'm gonna have to do is just wipe that i don't think there's a lot on there to be fair just wipe the end can't really show you because I'm holding the phone, right? So, I'm going to get up on me up up. Yeah? Now, the idea is you go across and then work up to your ceiling. Now, I've done this before. What I'm finding is it's just not going up to that ceiling line. Can you see? It's like that sponge bit at the end, just not holding enough paint. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load this up again. Let's have a look. I'm going to take the excess off. Hold on, man. Now, let's have a look again. It's, you've got to put a lot of pressure to try and get the, it just don't seem to be doing it to me. Now, I know he's trying to do it a different way in the, in the videos and all the rest of it, but let's face it, in the real world, See, that's just not, it's not good enough. It's got, it's got to be up to the ceiling line like that and it just don't seem to be doing it, I'm afraid. It's just not doing it. It's not even going up to the edge of the ceiling. So it's definitely not working in the new build, is it? Unfortunately. The problem I'm getting is, oh, with it being a new build and it's not properly dry, it is actually taking the paint off the ceiling line. That plastic thing's taking the paint off, so you probably won't get that if you're doing your private job, but on a new build, it's, um, it's taking it off and it's just not reaching. It's like it's not holding enough paint. That sleeve's just don't seem to be holding enough paint, especially towards the edge. There's no way you could cut a new build plotting. No, no, no chance. That's what I'm getting. 
I don't know how he does it on the video, but it's not working here. I can assure you. Right then, guys. Now, as you can see, I have tried this a couple of times. Um, and it, I don't know, it's just like that sponge there is just, because it's set back a little bit from the actual sleeve, obviously, because the sleeve's going to be thicker. It just don't seem to be putting enough paint on. And in the real world, you can't, there's no point using it on a tray. I don't, it's just not going to, I did actually try it at home on, on one of them flat trays and I had the same sort of problem. Um, I don't know how this guy manages to do his product video the way he does and make it work. Um, he'll probably even write a comment saying you're not doing it correctly, which is fair enough. Um, but I like to bring you these products, tell you exactly the, the truth and bring it to you how, how it is in the real world. Uh, whether you're doing it for yourself DIY or whether you, you're trying to use something like this to earn more money and speed your job up when you're at work and um, I, I've tried this a couple of times around this plot and I, I, in, in different methods from what I've, what I've shown you as well and I just can't seem to have more paint coming out that sponge to allow me to get that straight line. It's just, it's just not having it. Um, be very interested to know if any of you guys have actually purchased one of these and tried it. Um, the exact way that the guy shows you to do in the video. I, I have tried it the exact way at home. Um, I'm, I'm showing you this <coughs> from, from uh, on a production line, so to speak and uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it to, for me. So I'll probably, you know, I've been, I've been painting these plots for decades and, and if this worked, it'd be a fantastic bit of kit and it would have my continued business. Um, but it, in my line of work, it, it just doesn't seem to, to cut it, <laughs> I'd say so. Certainly doesn't seem to be doing the cutting in unfortunately so yeah there it is fast trim cutting in roller um with the, with adjustable settings no don't think so guys sorry i know we all want something that works and does the job straight away and does it quick but this don't seem to be doing it and i can't afford to be standing on an opal with with a diy tray giving it that because I, by brush, I'd have cut it all in by hand. Uh, the time it takes is it to go down one wall. Um, but no, it's a shame now, isn't it? Shame. So yeah, there you go. Fast trim from America, cutting in roller. Uh, I, I, I personally don't think it's uh, up to it, but not to worry, what can you do? <laughs> Another waste of money, we <laughs> are moving. There you go, hope you've enjoyed content of this video, let me know what you think, have you got one, have you used it, so yeah. So that's about it from the Candleman, don't forget, stay safe guys, until next time. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing.